Broadcasting from state-of-the-art studios at London's Canary Wharf Tower, this is Live TV. I'm live. Live. I am live. Live on Live TV. <laughs> Live on live tele. Well, uh, no. Hello, my name's Alan Partridge and I'm live. I'm live. On live TV. to see what live TV was all about so here it is so this is the office on uh, the 24th floor of Europe's tallest building Canary Wharf Tower uh, which is in the Docklands and it's also the studio we've got three handheld cameras and we often shoot items actually in the office using the desks and the staff or tracking down that red carpet which we since renamed the Royal Rug This is the uh, live performance area where we do bands. It's all galvanized steel, silver park hands. Looks fantastic when it's all lit up at night. And this area is actually linked to reception. And we slide these orange and green panels down to create an enclosed studio space. The office entrance. Not me, Pete. Listen, well, did, you, did you go to that uh, wall to wall party? I saw your name on the list when I turned up there. Um, I didn't make it. Didn't you? Who put me on the list? I don't know. No, I didn't go. What do you do? Are you working out how to use a high eight, Pete? I think I know how to use it. <laughs> yes, I'm just not very good at exposure, that's all. At nine on the dot this morning, a new TV channel was born. It's called Live TV, and it claims to be the first channel to provide live programmes 24 hours a day. Charlotte Hume was at this morning's launch. Amid frenetic activity, live TV went on air this morning, anxious to stamp its impression on the already competitive market of cable and satellite television. <laughs> live TV's main claim to be different is that it's Britain's only provider of live television 24 hours a day. It's the latest cable station to be founded by a newspaper. The Mirror Group has invested £30 million in the channel, the budget for three years, and appointed Janet Street Porter as the managing director. I think we will influence a lot of other television channels, and I think that as long as our output looks distinctive, we will attract an audience and the advertising. But the national audience is limited to those with cable television, less than a million, a fraction of ITV's audience. Snooty cow. ITV will be funded by advertising from local and national sources. But there are media analysts who are sceptical that live TV can actually sustain and attract the level of advertising it needs. Well, it certainly seems enormously frenetic, but this really owes more to the desperation of, of the national newspaper industry to get into television and the equal necessity of the cable industry to find something new to differentiate itself from satellite than conventional television, I believe. With ideas like TV directed by and dogs, live say they'll be a hit with the viewers. Their rivals will be watching closely. Charlotte Hume, ITN in East London. So this is the office from the other end. And these steel cabinets are like refrigerators. Well, they're the edit suites. Let's see if we can have a look inside. Go away! Oh, cheers, Katie. No. Each of these suites has got an avid news cutter. There's five of them. And we've got two of these clever ones, the... Um, media composers. Carl working on the Bee Gees. And this is the SGI graphics area. We've got two SGIs. They're flint workstations. And of course we've got the obligatory power Macintosh. Doing something on the football. 
Football? <laughs> Something's never change. Oh, yeah, rugby world league. A new London-based television station has just been launched. The Mirror Group's live TV is being broadcast from Canary Wharf Tower. It's pitched at viewers interested in entertainment. Paul Moss has this report. Promises to offer live entertainment 24 hours a day from its multicoloured and multi-million pound studios in London's Canary Wharf. Live television isn't like conventional television. It doesn't have blocks of programmes that happen every half hour or hour. It is what it, what it says. It goes to parties, events, openings, big events, small events. The company says its output will be unique, with the emphasis on entertainment and celebrities. With its roving cameras at various sources, Live TV says it will follow a number of stories at the same time, effectively doing the channel hopping for the viewer. The Mirror Group has invested more than £30 million setting up Live TV, which will be available to people who have cable television. This is Kate Harding for London Today. Here's some techie nerdy stuff here, John. Let's have a quick look around CAR. What does he want? Is he allowed to be filming in here? <laughs> <laughs> Security! <laughs> Oi. Hey, Carl, where's the server? The server? I can't yeah. hear it. Show me, where is it? Take me to the server. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. do, do you want to get his processors working very hard, as you can see? Look. <laughs> hey? How many gigahertz hard disk we got? Uh, I can remember now off the top of my head. We've got about half a terabyte. So this is the teen show that goes to air from uh, four to half five each day. And the lovely Alexis. And this is the gallery. Yeah, that's right, it's in there, Derek. That Patrick Craig's, the Canadian shoemaker, has just opened. You've seen one of those before. Now this is audio control with our uh, fully digital desk. Digital desk, Phil. Uh, yeah, they're, they're the digits. <laughs> That's all the digits. In presentation, they use the avids as well. They've got two airplays here to run the commercial breaks off. So this is deconstructed. Welcome back to Dateless State. I'm Charlie State, and uh, we're on between 5:30 and 7:30 all this week, talking to uh, stars, catching up with lots of action. Now, one, one, one camera, camera yeah, very slim crew, one host. Are you asking me a question about yesterday? Yes, yeah, well, yesterday. This is actually a green room. You wouldn't guess by the colour, would you? I'm not. I'm not going to think about yesterday. Let's uh, think about the future. Um, I've got five races. Makeup, which is on the other side of the green room. Well, and these are all the booths that are supposed to digitise tapes onto the media server. I'm desperate and dateless. Are your hormones a heaving? What a nice bump. Is it a while since you've... Oh, body, yeah. And what sort of girl would you be after? My name's Hayes up. What? 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 This is the newsroom. Well, news desk. This is where I work. <laughs> These are all my friends. <laughs> it's my birthday tomorrow, don't forget. Big presents. How old are you tomorrow? 13. <laughs> I'm 13. Good night, mate. How are you doing? Uh, that's Sean. He's not a vision mixer. Dave, Dave's a fishing mixer. Sort of. Dave is. 
simple tonight. Don't film me while I'm talking to you. Um, we haven't got a huge amount of people in the studio. Are you know, Bill. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. They no, the day I've had. Sleep. 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 Sleep.